Hi, my name is Dana Williamson, the conservator here at the Peterson Automotive Museum, and welcome to this episode of Driving with Dana. Um, I'm going to try to speak loud uh, because I'm in a loud car today. Actually, we're going to be taking out one of the iconic Old Yellers from Mac Belchowski. So today, we're going to take out Old Yeller 3. Now, for most of you, if you're hot rodders, you know who Max Belchowski is. If you're not a hot rodder, Max Belchowski is a legend here in the LA area. He actually built these old yellow cars. They were called Old Yeller because his first car came out in 1957, about the same time that Old Yeller movie from Walt Disney came out, which was about a junkyard dog. Now, Max built all of his cars there were about nine or ten old yellers and he built them uh, on the floor of his garage in Hollywood. Now Max had a, a garage in Hollywood on Hollywood Boulevard called Hollywood Motors. And in Hollywood Motors with his wife Ina, he would build specials, he would build hot rods, he, would, uh, he was very well known for fabrication and for doing engine swaps. They used to say that Max would be able to swap just about any engine into anything, from anything to something else. So like I said, we're driving Old Yellow 3, which uh, is he built in 1959. Uh, his most famous, of course, Old Yellow was Old Yellow 2. But what was so special about these, uh, he always powered, most of his cars were powered by Buicks. He loved big block Buicks. And there has been uh, some speculation that actually Max's shop in Hollywood was like the skunk works for, uh, for Buick. They used to ship him engines. He used to do his magic on the engines. And in so doing, they would be able to get the research that he did. Now, what's great about all of this is he took these special built cars that he built. He took them out to the racetrack. They were street legal. He took them out to the racetrack and beat Ferraris, he beat Maseratis, he beat just about anything. All the the uh, exotic sports cars that that were that uh, were racing at the time. Now, Max, people used to say, you know, on what plans did he he uh, build them from? And it was all in his head, no blueprints. He and his wife used to, with a with a piece of chalk on the floor of his garage, they used to sketch out the chassis design. He would sketch out what he was going to do with an engine. And like I said, this is Old Yeller 3. He had great successes with Old Yeller 2. And then there was a very famous cinematographer named Haskell Wexler, who said, wow, this guy does incredible things. Would you build me a car? So Max Belchowski and Ina built this Old Yeller 3 for Haskell Wexler as a street car that could easily be converted the, uh, con the configuration it is in now is with a racing, racing windshield, but it had a Triumph full screen windshield. So you could drive it on the street, which Max did all of his cars, and when he was ready to go to the racetrack, he would just drive to the racetrack, take off the windshield, put on the racing windshield, and he was good to go. Now, this particular car, like I said, Old Yellow 3, also has Hollywood ties being owned by a cinematographer. It had been used, uh, it had been driven, I'll tell you some, some people that actually drove this car. Bob Hope drove it at one of his uh, golf opens. Uh, it was driven by Dean Martin, um, and uh, it was driven by some very famous race drivers from the late 50s. This particular car raced in Panoma. It raced at Riverside, it raced at uh, uh, Paramount Speedway, raced Palm Springs, it actually won the Panoma Grand Prix, came in first place, beat Carroll Shelby, uh, beat Dan Gurney. I mean, for, what was so remarkable is for someone without a college education, not even a high school education, to be able in their shop to create something that looked pretty rough on the outside, but it was an incredible engineering feat underneath the skin. So these junkyard dogs, as everybody called them, were the hit of the tracks. Like I said, they beat everybody.
going to, uh, we're in a little bit of traffic here on Wilshire Boulevard. We're going to, uh, hopefully we can get out of this soon. There's a little bit of construction. So once we do that, uh, we can kind of uh, get out of this mess. So this particular car has a, well, <laughs> it's a 400 plus uh, cubic inch Buick. Uh, it originally had six carburetors. Now it just has a single four barrel. It was changed over. And when you talk about why I say junkyard dogs, is because all of Max's cars were built out of parts from many, many different things. This has a Studebaker truck uh, radiator. It has Jaguar suspension. It has Ford transmission. It has a, uh, it had Triumph rear sway bars, a Triumph windshield. Um, it uh, uh, had Buick parts, Chevy parts. So he always said, whatever he could get his hands on, that's what he would adapt and put it into one of his, his specials. Because you have to understand that back in the late 50s, like I said, this is a 59, there were two, actually two factions. They were hunt rodders and they were sports car guys. And they didn't get, you know, it, they didn't see eye to eye. The sporty car guys, you know, they had their uh, special built uh, European cars very sleek, very aerodynamic. And then you had the hot rod guys that would go and take a car and take parts from other cars. They would adapt them for racetracks or, uh, you know, mostly driving around town and going cruising. So Max was able to bridge that gap. He was able to take hot rodding and merge it with sports cars and built these specials like I said, showed up at all these racetracks and beat everybody on the track. And what's, what's interesting is, uh, like I said, Max's wife, Ina, was actually his engineer, his mechanic, his fabricator. She helped him lay out everything. She, she, would, do, uh, she would do the testing with him at the track. They would, uh, she'd do the timing, she'd do the suspension settings. Uh, she was a petite little brunette, and nobody, but you, you know, in talking to her, you'd say, they would say, oh, you know, your husband does such a great job, and yet when they would get out to the track, there she was with her, with her head, head underneath the hood. Uh, you know, this, <laughs> this is a street car, um, a street car with, uh, you know, over 350 horsepower, torque like you can't imagine, handles wonderfully, very well balanced, has great acceleration. So in Beverly Hills traffic, it's it's probably not, not uh, been it. I can't show you its best. Uh, I was lucky enough uh, last year, uh, excuse me, two years ago, to uh, take this car for some really hot laps up at Thermal Racetrack. Uh, those of you who had watched a past video of mine saw me with uh, the, the Peterson Museum's Alpine uh, A110. And when I drove this and did some hot laps, I was pretty proud of myself. And then I had a guest who was uh, Danny Sullivan, the IndyCar driver. He got in, I checked him out in the car and took a few laps with him. And I'll tell you, he put me to shame. You know, when you're a natural, it's, it's, you're, and it's unbelievable. It was just great. Now, we're gonna go a little further up and we're gonna turn around. We're also lucky enough at the museum to not only have this Old Yeller Mach 3, but we also have Old Yeller Mach 9, and uh, which actually was, uh, was later in the 60s and also had, uh, uh, you know, had very, very good luck at racing. Carol Shelby once said about Max, he says, you know, I don't know how he does it. Here is a guy, never talks, talks horsepower, only talks speed. What Max used to say is, I can get more speed out of a big block Buick than anyone else. Never talked horsepower. That's why I said with the, with the displacement of this car. Hang on.
We're gonna, uh, we're gonna turn around here and try to do a U-turn and head back to the museum. So it's, like I said, we're very lucky at the museum to have two of the old yellers. Um, and I think, well, and I, why I say we're lucky is Max Belchowski and Old Yeller really have so much to do with the, with the sports car scene, the, the uh, hot rod scene, the specials, because uh, actually this would probably be called a special. Because um, you can't say, oh, is that a Buick? No, is it a Ford? No. Ferrari? No, it's, it's Old Yeller. Hang on. Okay, now if we ever get stopped, we just say we're trying to blow the carbon out of the carburetors. Sounds good anyway, doesn't it? I don't know if it would work though. But hey, I gotta tell you, next, Max, Max did such a great job. It is very streetable, and yet uh, it's, a true, it's a true sports racing car. So the museum has always tried to educate people. We try to educate people about automobiles. You know, we try to educate kids that automobiles are not just transportation, that the automobile culture in Southern California was second to none. We had some of the greatest uh, independent car designers, car builders, uh, hot rodders, like I said, sports car guys. And even at the museum, you know, we have a uh, classroom for the uh, for the art college in, in Pasadena where, um, art college of design in Pasadena, where in their transportation pro program, I would say that there are, every year there are two or three of the major um, um, automobile companies have graduates as their designers and not just staff designers. I mean, they have these designers are, have some of the top positions in these automotive companies, BMW, um, McLaren, Toyota, full gamut. All right, we're gonna be heading back to the museum now. We're gonna head up uh, Wilshire Boulevard back toward the museum. And uh, you know, for a street car, it has a racing clutch. So right, right now I have a cramp in my left foot. Hang on. Um, it's a very heavy clutch. So those of you who have been enjoying my driving with Dana, I appreciate that. Uh, we've had some really good episodes. Hopefully you enjoy this one. And actually I have an upcoming episode uh, that I think you'll really like. Uh, I'm going to be taking out uh, Steve McQueen's Jaguar XKSS for a ride with a special guest that will be riding with me, none other than star of Broadway and screen, Neil Adams McQueen. That's right, McQueen. She is Steve McQueen's first wife, and she's actually the person that purchased the XKSS for Steve. She wrote the check. This car is an all-aluminum body, and like I said, a specially built chassis that was laid out on the floor of Max's shop. Hollywood Motors in Hollywood, California on Hollywood Boulevard. Well, everyone, I'd like to thank you all for watching this episode of Driving with Dana. I hope you have as much fun as I did. And uh, remember, please, drive with passion, but drive safely. Have a good day.